right, speaking of that, it's time to get the show started with some It's All Good stories. And joining me this week is the one, the only, the Atlanta United digital host, Beth Keener. Hi, Beth. Hey. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm so happy to be here, and I'm so happy Whiskey's here, too. <laughs> I know. Or just the Godfather. We have, no, it's all here. The whiskey, the woman behind it, it's incredible. You don't want to miss it. It's coming up soon. Uh, you said woman. Yeah. Yeah, she's fierce. Okay. Yes. I she's like so that. fierce. I know. Well, let's, uh, let's get fierce know. right Girl now. Power. Let's do it. All right, let's, let's go. Let's get fierce with some good stories. All right, I'm in. I'm in. All right, so I want to start things off with this great story about a woman named Sydney. Okay. And she was in the NICU with her two baby girls that were born early, 33 weeks. And when she was there, uh, the nurse and her nurses and the mother-in-law of her husband helped her get an incredible surprise. Okay, okay. so she already has two boys. She's superwoman, right. if you can imagine. Sure, yeah. Here she is hanging out in her hospital room, and in walks the best surprise that could have possibly walked through the door, All right. and it's her husband. He's been deployed for a year oh. in Kuwait. Okay. It was the most incredible. I love these. She was so speechless. She was shocked. I mean, she's standing there looking right. at him, or sitting there, I should say, baby in hand. Yes. And just. All right, let's check it out. Yeah. Hey, we'll get these this food hooked up for you and everything and get started already. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's amazing. All right, he's been gone for a year and here you can tell she doesn't even know what to do. She can't even hug him. She's like, my heart is my my cup runneth over. Oh. Look at him with his new baby girl. I just cannot imagine her hormones in that <laughs> moment. <laughs> She just, and she probably is, yeah, she needs a shoulder to cry on and somebody to give her a hug, and she probably wasn't expecting She's her husband like, to walk in the door. She's probably like, I've got Right, I've been alone. Oh, my goodness. But that's not even the best part. There was more surprises to come, so I want you to check out this video when he got home to see his boys. Oh. Who is that, buddy? Oh. Hey. Look, he's also like, Dad, are those toys? <laughs> That's incredible. Aww. Thank you for your service. Yes, and could you imagine these little boys getting to see their daddy for the first time in a year? Beth, you know what? I have said it on the show before. If somebody in programming is watching, we would like a channel dedicated to just service men and women coming home. Yes, <laughs> yes. and look at the dog, the dog. I mean, come on. Dog. This is why everyone in the world needs an animal. Right, it's true. You want to feel love? Get you a pet. Unconditional love. Those Unconditional. dogs, do you have a dog? No, my husband won't let me have one. Why? Because we yeah. travel. Oh, well, that's smart. Cherish. You're smart because you'd be a good. You want to be a good dog I parent. Want to be a good dog yes. parent. Yes. Yes. All right. Well. So now I know what to get you for Christmas. Would you give me a Sorry, dog? Sorry, Darren. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give me a dog and, and a few love. kids. Yes. Okay. He'll be so I'm happy. On. I'm in it. I'll put them all in a basket for you. <laughs> okay. So right. next up, we have this incredible story of uh, these next two. Honestly, made tears come to my eyes. This kindergarten teacher, her name is Miss Grimm. Mm -hmm. uh, one of her uh, five-year-old students was getting bullied because of her short haircut uh -huh. so over the winter break she went and got the same haircut as this little girl she said she knew in her heart she needed to do it oh that is amazing and look at this is little Priscilla Perez who is so excited to ha Aww. finally share in a moment with her teacher oh, look, and her she teacher has a bow. yes she got her matching bows and used it as a teachable moment for her students that's incredible and Priscilla, your short hair is fierce. It's Don't fierce, Don't let girl. anyone tell you anything different. And let me also say, she told those, those students that boys can have long hair and girls can have short hair. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I mean, think of the great short-haired ladies of our time. Halle Berry. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I got. But Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen. Get it, Ellen. Yeah. Yeah, I love I me some Ellen. I, I, I wish I could wear short hair, but I can't pull it off like Priscilla. You look incredible. That's so nice. That's a teacher going above and beyond to teach a lesson. Yes, mm -hmm. and just think about the uh, confidence that she had as a five-year-old, knowing that she had someone just like her. Right. And, the, and I imagine the kids were thinking twice about bullying. It's interesting, too, because I have a six-year-old, and I didn't think that they started bullying so young, but they do indeed do. So mm. teach mm. kindness to your children, please. Please. Yes. All right, lastly, I want to tell you about this 92-year-old man named Edmund. He had a 92, 92nd birthday. Mm -hmm, and what mm -hmm. did he want to do? Not anything for himself. He went to the local Chick-fil-A that he visits all the time. Well, I can understand and he that. gave them a wad of cash. And he was like, hey, use what? this money and take these flyers that explains I'm giving food to military families. 
Now they call him, okay, I, I have to read this to you. Yes, please. Their local sweet thing. <laughs> Love it. Edwin is a local sweet thing. He's a, look at him. He's their local sweet thing. <laughs> so he came back on Saturday. All the money had been used. He gave them their credit card and he said, I'm not a rich man, but this I can't afford. You know what? It just goes to show you that giving and spreading gratitude and love makes everyone feel better about themselves. Oh, Edwin, gee. happy 92nd birthday to happy you. Happy 92nd. I love that. I want to go spend some time with him. I know. I want to have what? some coffee, some ice cream and Anything where, that you don't need like solid teeth to use. <laughs> well, yeah, well, when you're 92, we gotta yeah. keep it. We gotta keep <laughs> it on the DL. That's very thoughtful of you, man. <laughs> That's very thoughtful of you. I do. We often share good stories that happen at the local Chick Fil A, which I enjoy. I love yeah. Chick Fil A. Yeah, it's and good. their food's good. It is. The one by me was closed on Roswell Road. It is now open. In case you were wondering. So the lines are now wrapped around the block again. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, that's yeah. good. Yeah, it is good. It is good. Thank you so much, Beth Keener, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> because it's all good, Kara. It is. I'm so happy that you spread the good news, and you're doing it all week long. So all you'll week. be back here tomorrow. If you have a fun or interesting It's All Good story, send it to us on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash ATL and co, or tweet us using the hashtag It's, it's All, all good. good.